Really for us today, what we're hoping for this session is to arm you with some information and some tools that you can use in your job to change one thing, change everything. With more and more focus on HAIs in the media, there is growing customer awareness and publicity surrounding infections, with growing attention on SSIs. Patients are starting to realise that this is not acceptable, and hospitals need to be prepared for closer public scrutiny. Now I went across to a, a meeting with Kimberly Clark in 2008, a sort of a, a round table brainstorming session, and the Integi Seal was presented to me there, and uh, this uh, in vivo work was presented, which was very impressive. Uh, it works in, in, in the lab. So before embarking on a, a program to use this, I thought I'd better do the work myself since no one else had done it. So we embarked on a study at uh, Fremantle, which is a randomized controlled blinded study. And essentially the patient group at risk were patients having coronary artery bypass grafting who required two or more lengths of vein. So what did we find? We had to break the code uh, at one year after we recruited 47 patients. And we had to stop, because this is what we found. In the untreated leg, uh, on the cultures, there were 22 positive cultures. A lot of those were just normal skin flora, but uh, quite a few were pathogens. And if we look at the infection rate, we had 12 infections. That's about the treated leg. There were 13 positive cultures, so we as I say, we didn't sterilize these legs, but we did decrease the uh, uh, culture rate, as per that previous slide on the in vivo work. And we had one infection. That was a Staphylococcus aureus infection, um, but really quite a dramatic difference, and you don't need a statistician to tell you that that result is statistically significant. So we were planning to enroll 100 patients, but we had to stop at 47. And because of this work, Integi Seal has become uh, my, my practice. I use it on the sternum and on all the legs. So what are my recommendations? This 10 to the 6 to the 10 to the 5 is a matter of attention to detail. It's little things where we make the progress, but it's sticking to your protocol and making sure that the rest of your staff all know what you're doing and why you're doing it. And I think that uh, surgical sealants are one small baby step along to this aim of uh, eliminating surgical site infection. <laughs>